In this video, I'll show you how I installed the window regulator and glass in both of the doors on my 1966 Dodge Charger. The process is the same for other Mopar B body models of the same vintage. After refurbishing all of the components, I'm ready to reinstall everything. The first item to go back in is the upper stopper. It was rusty, so I media blasted it and painted it. I also installed new rubber. I'm leaving the two bolts loose until after the regulator and glass are back in place. The next piece to be installed is the rear channel. The rubber was in bad shape, so I ordered a new set from Detroit Muscle Technologies. First I loosely thread in the top bolt. Before threading in the second bolt, make sure the little tab is positioned in the adjusting slot. Now the regulator can be installed. Here's the orientation of the regulator when it's mounted inside the door. A previous owner cut a speaker hole in each door panel. This hole provides a convenient entry point for the regulator. The regulator is attached to the door with three bolts. When these bolts were installed at the factory, they left marks in the paint. By realigning the bolts with these marks, I can be sure that the regulator is correctly positioned. The heads on these bolts are 7 16 In preparation for reinstalling the glass, I ordered a window hardware kit from Classic Industries. The paper triangles have two folding lines pressed into them because the paper has to wrap around the bottom edge of the glass. Now this thing is supposed to have whiskers on it, black, the same kind of stuff you see on the, the original uh, kind of fuzzy black stuff it used to be on here, but it all fell off and these are extremely expensive. To explain, there are two holes in the glass and they have holes that line up this track and then there are these two pieces with a pin and t-bars that go together I don't know if they were originally glued on or what they sandwiched together maybe they had glue originally I don't know they fit inside this track and once they're in the track they can't go anywhere I use my 7 16 combination wrench as a temporary spacer between the metal window channel and the vent window frame. This makes the top of the window channel accessible. Feed the leading edge of the glass into its track first. This will ensure that the pair of black fasteners stay sandwiched around the glass. Then you can position the trailing edge of the glass in its track. With both channels engaged, it's just a matter of carefully walking the glass down into the door a little at a time.
Now the glass can be connected to the regulator. I lubricated the bottom track before slipping it onto the regulator's roller. With the bottom track and regulator engaged, the next step is to set the glass into the bottom track, ensuring that the respective holes are aligned. Now the nylon rivet can be inserted into the hole. The plug has four barbed prongs that grip the edge of the hole in the glass. Their diameter is slightly larger than the hole's diameter, so they have to be compressed inward to pass through the hole. The nylon rivet is actually made up of two tight-fitting parts, the outer portion with the prongs and a cylindrical center shaft that can be slid flush with the four prongs, thereby locking them in place. I slid the center shaft into its locked position by using a C-clamp. There's not much room to work, and I didn't want the C-clamp making contact with the glass, so I took my time. All of the loose bolts can now be tightened with the same 7 16 wrench. The next piece to reinstall is the wedge-shaped rubber stopper. Its mounting screw also fastens the window track to the vent window frame. Finally, the door end seal can be reattached. It's fastened with three sheet metal screws. Driver's door is done. Same process for the passenger door, starting with the upper regulator stopper. Next comes the rear window track. The new rubber that I installed in the track requires trimming to proper length. Reinstall the track by loosely threading the top bolt. Make sure the track's tab is poking through the small slot in the door, then loosely thread the bolt right next to it. The window regulator can now be greased and reinstalled. Make sure the regulator arm is below the upper stopper, then screw in the remaining two bolts.
Jam a temporary spacer between the vent window frame and the window runner. I used my 7 16 combination wrench. Carefully feed the front and rear edges of the window into their respective channels, then gently guide the glass down into the door. Fold the paper triangle to fit into the lower track. Slide the lower track onto the regulator arms roller. Set the glass into the lower track and align the holes. Pop in the nylon rivet. Lock the rivet using a C-clamp. Reattach the wedge-shaped runner stopper to the top of the window track and vent window frame. Reinstall the rear door seal using three black screws. Make sure the glass is in its correct up position. Make sure the upper stopper inside the door is in contact with the regulator arm, then tighten the two adjusting bolts. With the window in its down position, tighten the bottom bolt of the rear track.
Likewise with the glass in its up position, cinch down the top bolt. Passenger door is done.